So in the last video, we deleted a task and we, it was a hard delete. It's gone from the database, but what if we don't necessarily want to delete it forever? What if we want to reserve the ability to bring it back? Like for example, our users might want to request like, Ooh, I accidentally deleted my task. Can you please recover it for me and bring it back? Well, that's where soft deleting comes in. Soft deleting is essentially just setting a flag on the model in the database and um, to telling it like, hey, this has been deleted. Uh, oftentimes it's with a date too, so we know exactly when it was deleted. Uh, in this case, I've set up our models uh, to show. So if we go to our database tasks. Uh, we have deleted that here. Uh, that is an option, so it is mostly null and it is set to a date time with time zone. Now, to get the date time with time zone, if we hover over this, we need chrono. So let's go over to crates.io. Uh, chrono is a crate. It is a pretty popular crate for working with date and time in Rust. It even works with WebAssembly, so we can use it on the front end. Um, and uh, it's it's fairly easy to use. I'm not going to go into the exact docs of how how we're going to use it in this case. We're just going to go in and use it ourselves. Let's go install that. We're going to do data cargo add chrono. Uh, all right, so we've got that added to our system now. Uh, in our tasks. Uh, I want to update. I've previously done this already. I want to update our task to take in a query parameter. Uh, soft is true. So this means that uh, we can hard delete it, but if we want to soft delete it, we'll just pass this query parameter instead. Now, it may be that you just have a policy where everything is a soft delete, in which case uh, your delete will just do all do the soft delete instead. Okay, so in our delete task, let's go find that file again. So in routes, we want delete task. Um, I want to grab the query params. So we know we're going to have query. So extract, that's going to be um, the query params. And it's going to be query with something inside. Uh, let's go ahead and create a pub struct query params. Uh, we know we need to derive deserialize for this. Uh, and the only thing we care about in here is soft is a boolean. So we know we want soft, and you're a bool. Okay, so this is the query params. Excellent, so now we have those. Uh, we're gonna do two different paths here. So in first one, so if query params.soft, if that's true, then we wanna do a soft delete here. Otherwise, we wanna take all of these, move you in here. Okay. Everything's good so far. Um, all right, what do we need to do? Well, first of all, we need to do an update, essentially. So it's not really a delete anymore, it's an update. Well, if we wanna do an update, we have to first get the task. Well, we kind of already have this set up here, so I'm just going to copy this one to get our task for us. And let's uncomment that out. Okay, so we have our task. Uh, we do an into active model for this task. We have task into active model. If you find it, otherwise return this error. What are you upset about? I want to return out of this if let into you. Uh, no method named into active model found for structured model. This task is in fact the model. Uh, I think Rust Analyzer might be a little bit upset. I'm gonna restart it really quickly. And we'll see, we'll see whether or not we still have the same problem. There we go, now it's happy. 
This happens every once in a while. Uh, okay, so we have a task interactive model that comes here to this task, uh, which you don't know what that type it is, but it's definitely this task into model here. I'm doing an early return out of there. Okay, so uh, we want to we want to get a now, don't we? So we want a that now equals we're going to use chrono and we need UTC now. So that gives us a like a point in time that's just right now and it's UTC time. Uh, we have the active model, so I should be able to do task dot. Uh, we want the deleted at. Uh, Rust Analyzer is still a little bit upset. It's sort of forgotten that we're returning out of here uh, into here. So let's uh, see if I can remind it. Task dot into active model. There we go. Now it's happy. All right. So uh, we want. Deleted at, I want to set this equal to a set. Uh, we want to set this to a sum because it is an option. Uh, it's going to be that now. But if I attempt to just do this, it's going to yell at us because first of all, can't find it, so import set. It's going to say, hey, this now is the wrong type. We expect a um, a type like a fixed offset with UTC. But luckily, UTC is com compatible with that. We just have to do an into to convert it over to the correct type. All right, so now you're just saying, hey, it's not mutable. Let's mark you as mutable. Okay, great. Now we just need to do the actual update. So we're gonna do a task update. Our model is task. Uh, we exec this, pass it a reference to the database. Uh, we await, we map the error. Uh, status code, this is gonna be an internal server error in case it fails. Uh, we question mark that, and we should have successfully marked this as deleted. Let's go ahead and, and see whether or not we've got this. So first of all, in delete task, soft is true for task number, let's double check. I'm gonna get all the tasks, four. So we have to do this to number four. Soft is definitely true. Okay, we got 200, okay. So if I get all tasks, four is still here. Now we're not actually seeing the deleted at. So let's actually go update the get all tasks. So these are get tasks, get all tasks. We're returning this response task. So I want a deleted at in here. So deleted at, we know that this is gonna be an option. And let's um, let's turn this into a, we could turn it into a string. Uh, let's see, so we have a couple places that's upset here in get one task. We now need a deleted at, uh, that's gonna be a sum. Well, it sort of depends, doesn't it? We want a task dot deleted at. Uh, now it wanted this to be a, a sum, so let's see. I want you to be, can I do a like a two string? I can do, I believe a two string. Maybe into let's see two owns as drf as clamp. Uh, there's no string here. Uh, I can oh you know what we can use the survey method because we saw that. Um, I noticed that there is a survey here. So let's add this. I should def f bring in survey. And then for this type, so a date time fixed offset, I'm going to put that as the type here. And then we're just gonna do, hey, task 
uh, update that. This needs to be, well, needs to be an option, doesn't it? And currently, uh, this is, okay, so this delete that is an option, date time. Oh, cannot find date time. So let's import you. Cannot find fixed offset. Import you. Okay. So far, so good. Happy. Uh, let's update you too. So description, we have a deleted at, uh, and you're going to be a db task dot deleted at. Okay. Let's now get all tasks. Uh, deleted at is null for all of these, except, oh, look at this. ID one is deleted at. Hey, the title is my deleted task. That kind of makes sense. ID two is null, ID three is null, and ID four that we just deleted is deleted, and that looks like today, uh, 2022, November 18th, which is in fact today. Excellent, okay. Now, if something's deleted and I'm trying to get it, that kind of doesn't make sense for us to get it. So that's uh, it's also important for us to update our get tasks to, not return if if deleted at is set. So it's something that I often forget the first time I build something into a project and then we get a bunch of deleted things showing then I have to go back later and do it. So when we add the delete ability, just also make sure we go and update the get task. Okay, so we find by D one. So in between here, we wanna do a filter. I wanna filter where we have Task column deleted at is null. So I want to make sure that deleted at is null when we got this. I'm going to copy you. I'm going to come down to get all tasks. And see, here's our task. So filter, we do the priority filter. and add you in there too. So uh, this is conditional. Okay, so we're adding a priority filter if if apps, if necessary from the query params, but we're also adding deleted add as null. So no matter what, uh, we will not get those. Let's now see, we're now getting only these two. And if I attempt to get one task and we get, let's say four again, we get a 404 not found because, hey, it's deleted at the database, totally deleted. Uh, now, if we want to undelete that, that will be a normal update where we set the deleted at explicitly to null. But I wanted to show you this pattern for deleting the task um, in a not, you know, actual deleting way. Uh, it still appears to be deleted from the user's point of view but it's still in the database too. So if we really want to, we can undelete it later, or we can just go, you know, routinely through and then, you know, really truly hard delete everything that's been deleted in the past, like, you know, over 90 days or, or something like that. So with that, uh, that is soft deleting data. That is also everything in the CRUD data in the database. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and uh, I'll see you in the next section. Bye.